Here we are on a Cruiser 420 Express, and uh, we're looking at the uh, remote control of an inverter charger that we've recently installed aboard this boat. And the reason for that is to give the owner the ability of actually deciding what to do with that inverter charger. Is the inverter charger going to be, is the inverter function going to be on? Is the charger going to be on or off? Is the whole device going to be off? And also getting some status updates as to maybe potentially what is the charger doing? Is the charger seeing AC power? Is the charger or inverter charger in an overload situation? What's, is the battery temperature too uh, hot? Um, are you bulk charging, absorption charging? And all of that can happen here at the remote control for this Victron inverter charger. And here's uh, where it is. So basically it's a pretty simple remote control and um, there's a little toggle here and the little toggle basically has three states. You have charger only mode, which is all the way here to the right. And then you have off. So that would mean inverter and charger are both off or you have inverter on. Um, and also charger on potentially if there's AC sensing. So that would be actually the easiest mode. The, the toggle to the left would be the easiest mode where Whenever the AC is sensed on the inverter, the charger comes on, and if ever they loses AC and they sense a load on the AC inverter outlets or microwave or whatnot, then the inverter kicks on as well. So for owners that just want convenience, they would put it at inverter on, charger on, which is on the left side. If, on the other hand, you want to start managing power and you're really conservative, then you might leave it on charger on all the time and only put it on inverter on, charger on sometimes when you are planning on using your inverter. Maybe because you're just being cautious and you want to stay at anger longer without having to run the generator or run the alternators to recharge your house battery bank. The other thing that's interesting about this remote panel is that it actually makes it really easy to dial in what is, and you can notice I can actually change that dial, what is the AC uh, input coming into the shore power receptacle. So some, your boat might have a 50 amp receptacle, a 30 amp receptacle, but sometimes you might be connecting to a dock uh, that was only giving you 15 amp. And so you want to dial that back in. So it's a way of saying the inverter charger, by the way, we don't have that much power coming in. So instead of blowing the breaker and overloading potentially the AC input coming into the inverter charger, this is a way for you to dial it back so that you don't have nuisance tripping on the inverter charger.